Hi, I'm Megan, and my purpose on this earth is to love my husband fiercely, raise four kind, loving kids, and help women just like you create and live a life you love through yoga and life coaching. I fell in love with yoga because of a vinyasa flow practice. I've created a 20-minute vinyasa flow for you. Enjoy! So I fell in love with yoga with a vinyasa practice. So that's really where my deep relationship with yoga started. I loved the movement. I loved the flowing. I loved that I could go to a class and my brain could completely shut off because I just had to listen to the cues from the instructor to know where to move my body, where to move my breath. And that is how I fell in love with yoga, was through a vinyasa practice. So I'm gonna share a vinyasa practice today um, with you. Be reminded, honor your body, listen to your body. If something um, I say uh, doesn't feel good, don't do it. This is your practice, this is your journey. So let's meet at the top of your mat. Let's begin to ground through the feet. So shift forward on the balls of the feet and then back on the heels. Roll those shoulders down the back. Just begin to breathe. Notice on the inhale, the chest rising, the rib cage expanding, the belly filling up. And then on the exhale, everything softens, melts. And then let's begin by putting most of the weight in the balls of our feet. Really light on the heels. Inhale, reverse one leg, sweep your arms up. Take a breath here and mount it. And then exhale, swan dive to earth. Shift the hips back, bend through the knees. <clears throat> Bring the crown of the head towards the earth. And keep the weight of the balls of the feet really light on the heels. And really think about shifting those sits bones right over your femurs. And then shake your head yes. Letting go of any tension you may be holding onto in the head, neck, and shoulders. And then shake the head no. Inhale, reverse one leg. Sweep the arms up. Returning back to mountain. Lower the right hand towards the right side. Gaze towards the sky and begin to hinge over to the right. Think about lifting the ribcage away from the hip bone. Inhale back to mountain. Allow the left arm to fall to the left. Look up at the right hand and begin to hinge over to the left. Keep gazing to the sky. Keep the chest and heart open. Inhale back up to mountain. Cactus the arms, gentle back bend through the thoracic spine. And that's right here where a bra strap or a heart rate monitor would be. Opening the chest, the heart. Breathe in what you need today. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Hands through heart center. Shift those hips back. Nice bend in the knees. Fingertips to earth. Inhale, half lift. Nice flat back, lengthen through the spine, take a breath here, and then exhale, fold. Sealing the hands to the earth, step back, plank. You have options here. Listen to your body. Lower the knees if your back is swooping. So if you're here and you're creating the shape of a banana, then please lift up. Plank, you want to be a uncooked spaghetti noodle. Uncooked. If you are a cooked spaghetti noodle and you're here, please draw the knees to the earth. Notice how you feel. Shoulders are stacked over your wrists. Heels are stacked over your toes. Draw hip bone to hip bone, navel to spine. Your head is in line with your spine. It's extension of your spine. Your quads are engaged, your glutes are engaged, fingertips are spread wide. We breathe, hips up, down dog. So little to no movement from your hands and feet to down dog. Really deep bend in your right knee, melt your left heel towards the earth, keep shifting those hips to the sky. Draw your shoulders down your back and broaden through your collarbones. And taking that to 
the other side. Really deep bend in the left knee. Hips toward the sky. Lift up, up, up. And take a breath and melt that right heel towards the earth. Bring the left heel down to meet the right. Coming into crouching down dog. Lower the knees so they hover over the earth. Lift your hips high, high, high. And then melt your heels down. Crouching down dog. Hover the knees towards the earth. Belly towards your thighs. Lift those hips towards the sky. And then melt your heels. Draw the shoulder blades down. Broaden through your collarbones. Take a breath. Exhale, let it go. Rising up on the toes, melt your heels towards the right. Rising up on your toes, melt your heels towards the left. Rising up on your toes, melt your heels towards the earth. Breathe forward to plank. Little to no movement, your head is the last thing to arrive. Feel strong. Using your breath, using your core, return back, down dog. Step your right foot through between your hands, lower that back knee, inhale, sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Take a breath here, look down, make sure you can see those right toes. If not, please walk them out. So our knee is stacked over our ankle. We're shifting our right hip back, our left hip forward, and then we're tucking the tailbone. Take a breath here. Bringing the hands to heart center. Grow through the spine. So lengthen the spine, shifting forward. Guide the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, coming into a twisted crescent. See if you can bring your hands right to the middle of your sternum. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, hinge forward, frame out the foot. Tuck the back toes. Lift that back leg off the earth. Bring your right foot back to meet the left. Downward dog. Paddle it out. Melting both heels towards the earth. Step your left foot through between your hands. Set your foundation and then drop that back knee as you sweep your arms up. Draw the shoulders down the back. Left hip back, right hip forward. Tuck the tail. Take a breath. Bring your hands to heart center. Grow your spine, so lengthen forward. Guide your right elbow to the outside of that left knee and then rotating, bringing the palms to the center of your chest. Gaze over that left shoulder, enjoy your twist. Take a breath here. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, frame out the foot. Tuck your back toes, lift that right knee off the earth, and bring the left foot back to meet the right. Breathe forward to plank. Lower slow with control through chaturanga, hugging those elbows right next to the ribcage. Pausing, flip the left foot, followed by the right upward facing dog. And then use your core and your breath to draw you back, downward dog. Paddle it out. Melting the heels towards the earth. Step your right foot through between your hands. Set up that really strong foundation. And then inhale, sweep the arms up. Full crescent lunge. Just look down, check. Make sure you can see those toes. Try to stack your heel and your back leg over your toes. Your knee of your front leg is stacked over your heel. And then open up warrior two. So let's go through alignment in warrior two. So I want you to imagine you could draw a line from heel to arch. This front knee is open. Your shoulders are stacked right over your hips. The back leg, the weight is in that big toe. It's either parallel to your mat or slightly internally rotated. The weight in that front foot is in the pinky toe, keeping that knee open. Shoulders over hips. Gaze is over that front middle finger. Your arms are in one beautiful line and they are strong, friends. They are strong. Can you sink a little deeper in your warrior? Bear of Adrasana 2. Now notice what your core is doing. Draw that mula bandha, that pelvic floor. Draw it in, navel to spine. 
Two more big breaths here. And then open up into goddess. So peel open that left leg, cactus those arms, sit it as low as you can and breathe. Two big breaths here. If you want the extra balance, lift your heels off the earth. Sit the hips down a little lower. Smile, it helps. And then lower the heels and open up to warrior two. Left leg leading. Settle in. Sit as deep as you can. Notice your alignment. Keep that left knee open. Shoulders over hips. Really strong and fierce. Two big breaths here. Settle in a little deeper. And then pivot the arms or cartwheel the arms. Frame out that front foot. Bring your left foot back to meet the right. Breathe forward to plank. Lower slow with control through chaturanga, hugging those elbows in. Pause. Flip the left foot, followed by the right. Lift your chest and heart, and then exhale. Take it back down in the duck. Paddle it out. Step your left foot through between your hands. Set a really strong foundation, and then inhale, sweep your arms up, crescent lunge. Notice if one side feels different than the other. Where can you move? Where can you adjust? Where can you explore deeper? Shifting the left hip back, the right hip forward, tuck your tail. Imagine you have a pencil right under this glute, and you're squeezing that pencil. Take a breath. And then open up, warrior two. Left leg leads. Inhale, lengthen out of that front knee, arms to the sky. Exhale, sit it down, fierce warrior. Inhale, breathe it up. And then exhale, let it go. Inhale, breathe it up. And exhale, let it go. We're going right into goddess. Peel open that right leg. Sit as deep as you can. And then bring your hands to your quads. So with your hands on the quads, guide that right shoulder towards that left knee. Enjoy that stretch. And then take that to the other side. Left shoulder towards the right knee. And then returning back to the center, cactus those arms, and returning back to warrior two, right leg leads. Sit it down as deep as you can. Inhale, lengthen out of that front knee, draw the hands into heart center, and then exhale with bent palms, press away. Inhale, draw in what you need today. And then exhale like you're pressing against walls. Surrender, release what no longer serves you. Inhale, breathe in what you need. Exhale, let go of what you don't. Flatten the wrist. Cartwheel the hands around. Frame out that front foot. Bring the right foot back to meet the left down dog. Breathe forward, plank. Lower slow with control through chaturanga. Pause. Left foot, right foot, lift the chest, the heart, breathe it in, and use that breath to take you back to down dog. Pedal it out. Breathe forward to plank. Pausing here, notice how you feel. Take two big breaths. Sealing the right hand on the earth, the left hand comes to sky for side plank. You have the option always to drop that right knee. Listen to your body, honor your body as we thread the needle. We bring that left hand underneath our waistline, gaze goes with you, and then take it back up. One more just like that. Keep lifting the hips, and then bring it down. Hips up, down, dog. Paddle it out. Breathe forward, plank. Sealing the left hand on the earth, the right hand in the sky. I want you to notice from this angle, my shoulder is stacked right over my wrist. My hips are high. You have the option to drop the left knee and then thread the needle. Bring the 
arm through, gaze those with me, and then take it up. One more time, thread the needle, and then bring it up. Bring your right hand down to meet the left. We're in full plank. Hips up, down dog. Breathe forward to plank. Lower slow with control through chaturanga. Pause. Flip the left foot, followed by the right. Take a breath, and then use your core to return back to down dog. Paddle it out. Bring your knees down to the earth and come around to easy seated. We're gonna go right into boat. Our boats can look different. So maybe you're grounded, feet on the earth, hands on the earth, or join me here, lifting our chest to heart, broadening through your collarbones. We're gonna bring our hands to heart center, and then inhale, sweep the arms to the sky, but keep the shoulders down. Now tiny little pulses, pulse your knees in towards your chest. Keep breathing. Believe you can do this. I know you've been through really hard stuff. You can do really hard things. Keep breathing. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pause. See if you can get these shins parallel to the sky. Bring your hands to heart center. Squeeze those thighs together. Now we're gonna twist to the right, center, left, Center, keep squeezing those legs together. Left, center, right, center. Lift that chest, that heart. Right, center, left, center. Inhale, sweep the arms up and tiny pulses in. I know you're feeling the love and the core and the hip flexors. You've got this. Here's four. Smile, three, two, and one, take it down. Now, sealing the feet on the earth, roll back one vertebrae at a time, taking your time, connecting your spine to the earth. Now, allow your knees to tick tock to the right and the left. So, allow them to fall to the right and then fall to the left. You can even cactus or field goal your arms. Allow the knees to fall to the right, and then fall to the left. Bringing the feet back to the earth, crossing the right ankle over the left knee, coming into reclined pigeon. Interlocking the hands behind that left thigh. Really use that elbow to peel open this right knee. I like to lift my chest, but you also can stay grounded here. And then if you want more, you can extend the left leg, getting into the calf and the hamstring, up into the glute of your left leg. Two more big breaths here. And let it out. And then let's take that to the other side. Cross the left ankle over the right knee. Really open up this left knee. Interlock the hands behind your right thigh. I lift my chest and heart up, and then I extend my right leg, using my left elbow to really peel open my left leg. And on each exhalation, see if you can bring the legs closer to your chest, creating more space and length. Two more breaths here, and then bring it down. Hugging the knees into the chest, we open up, happy baby. You can grab peace fingers to the big toes or the outside edge of the feet, drawing the knees in towards the earth, keeping your spine pressed on the mat. Maybe you rock back and forth. Maybe you extend one leg long, followed by the other, whatever honors your body. And then hug the knees back into the chest. We rock and roll up a couple times in the spine. Enjoy the massage until we meet back and easy seated. Inhale across your left, exhale, get round. 
Moving with breath, notice how your hips are feeling after your practice. And then change direction of that energy circle. Inhale across your left. Exhale, get round, tuck the chin round through the shoulders. One big, one more big circle. Move with breath. And then returning back to the center. Bring the arms out to a T. Inhale, lift your chest, your heart. Breathe in what you need. Exhale, get round, tuck the chin round through the shoulders. Inhale, breathe in what you need. And exhale, let it all go. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your thumbs to the third eye, the space between your brow. Soften your eyes. Bring the best version of yourself to the forefront of your mind right here, right now. Allowing your actions, your words, your energy to come from that place. Know that she is always within you, friend. She's right behind fear and vulnerability. Let her step forward as you step off your mat into your life. Bring your thumbs to your heart center. Thank you so much for honoring your body, your mind, nourishing your soul, loving yourself first, and sharing this practice with me. May the light within me shine greatly within each one of you. Much love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you for sharing that practice with me. I hope you will take your yoga tools, the peace, the confidence, the balance, the intention, the strength and purpose off your mat into your life today. Much love and gratitude. Namaste.